When we have a pawn, it's important to take care of the pawn. If we don't take care of them well, we will have a lot of water plant or floating plant. This kind of plants will cover, take over the whole pond very fast. If they take over the whole ponds, they will block the sunlight. Many aquatic life will suffer because they cannot have enough sunlight and not enough oxygen under the water. So the fish will die. Most of fish will die. And if this water plant die, it will make the pond shallow very fast. And in the same time, if they take over for a while, they will make the water smell bad too. So the good pond, a healthy pond, it need to be clean like this. It's okay to have some grass grow around the edge that's healthy, but it's not okay to have water plant floating uh, over the water, over the surface. The first floating plant is water mimosa. This kind of plant, some people call sensitive plants also, because when we touch the leaves, when we check it, touch it, it will move. The leaves will close together like this. Actually, this kind of plant is very healthy for human. We eat them a lot because this plant contain more calcium than milk in the same amount. And there are many varieties of vitamin and mineral if we eat them. So in Thailand or in Southeast Asian, many countries eat this plant. The way we eat, we eat them fresh or cooked. We put in the sour soup or we can branch them. We can eat in different way. We can make into many different kind of food. In Thailand, you can buy this in the market. It's this kind of plant, if you pick them often, they make pretty good income. The problem of this plant is if we put in the pond and we did not pick them often enough, they will spread fast. Each day, they spread out more than one foot per day. And the root of this plant, they go deep more than two feet down. So fish cannot go under it because it takes big area. And then the fish cannot come up to breathe. In the same time, a lot of snakes like to hide under the root of this uh, plant. And this kind of snake, they love to eat fish. If this thing cover the whole pond, most of the fish will disappear. We will have only the big fish survive. If we have this plant, we need to be able to control them well. The second floating plant is morning gory or gangkun. Gangkun is one kind of vegetable that people eat widely in Thailand. It's quite similar to water mimosa. They're spreading fast and if we rest them, take, uh, put them in a pond, we need to be able to pick them often, control them well. If we forgot in one or two months, they can take over the whole pond easily. And then when it take over the whole pond, it's so hard to take it off. It's a lot of work. So it's good if we pick them often because they are good food and you can make very good income from them too. You don't need to take care of them much, but they give a lot of vegetable for you. So if we have this in our pond, we need to control them. Need to be able to control them, but if we cannot control them, don't let them grow in the pond. That is the most important thing. Morning gories, they grow fast. Fish eat some of leaves, but they cannot eat all of them. If we have less fish that eat this kind of leaf, they will grow so fast. When the morning gory take over the pond like this, it's a big headache because it's very tired and very heavy to move them out and it's a lot of snake in there too. 
the third water plant or floating plants is water hyacinth water hyacinth is a kind of floating plant that grow so fast they take over very fast this plant is very good for cleaning the water because they help to filter the water they make the water clean they absorb a lot of new uh, chemical out of the water but the problem is when they grow fast they take over the whole thing if they cover the whole pond the water in the pond will smell very bad and most of the fish will die like other plants because they cannot breathe and then not enough oxygen under the water and when they die they will turn to big amount of fiber and make the pond shallow fast water hyacinth is edible we eat them in thailand some but not very popular we can eat the flowers we can eat the young shoot it tastes okay not very good but it's good in case we don't have any vegetable to eat but all kind of water plants or floating plants if we want to eat them it's good to eat them cook or soak in the salt water for a while because many of them been caught will have uh, parasites eggs in there or some parasite will stay in there too and the third thing is sylvania calculata this kind of floating plant is the biggest problem because when they spread in the pond it's so hard to take them out because they're so tiny if one or two of them left in the pond they grow back very fast in one month they can take over the whole pond again so don't let them get into the pond this one is the most headache plant water plant for many people who have ponds we cannot eat this one because it's tough not good taste and we can use them to make compost mainly but it's a lot of work if we take them out we need to keep it clean for many years in a row don't let them spread back because they are in the same family with fern they have spore even its water is clean but they can propagate from the spore again when they are very thick they die and then another kind of grass will grow over them like this so if this kind of plants grow in our pond it will make our pond shallow fast and most of water animal will die less animals survive under this kind of plant mainly eel survive but fish will die so if we can control them don't put them in the pond that is the best way this is another kind of floating plants this one they call pistia or water lettuce they look like lettuce actually people love to have them in the uh, aquarium in the uh, people who have fish at home but some people they give up to have them at home they just throw in the pond that is a big mistake it's spreading so fast and it take over it's similar to most of uh, floating plants it causes the same problem fish will die the water will smell bad that's the same thing and there are many kind of floating plant quite similar or in the same family this kind is very tiny it look beautiful look nice but if we think about to have fish in the pond this is not good some fish eat this plant but most of them don't eat this plant and when it cover the whole pond most of the fish will die because uh, aquatic plants under water they cannot get sunlight they cannot uh, produce food for themselves so they will die less food for fish in the water so this is a main problem 
that we have in Thailand. Many of them, many people who don't know, they think it would be nice to cover our pond with this floating plant so the water will not evaporate fast. It's true, but it causes another problem too. And many people think about the fish, maybe eat them, but most of the fish don't eat this thing much. So some kind of fish eat them, but it need to have the perfect amount between fish and uh, floating plant. They can control each other. And this one is what we call cattail. This one they will grow well in the shallow water. Shallow water, it can cause problem. If you have a deep pond, there's no problem because they will be only on the edge of the pond. If this thing take over the whole area, you cannot do anything with it. It's hard to control. So to have ponds, we need to take care of ponds. Don't let floating plants grow over the pond. If you need to have them, you need to have schedule to clean them well. If not, it will be the big mistake. If we take care of our pond well, we will have many different kind of fish and our water will be really clean and no smell and nice. And another thing is our pond will not shallow too fast. So taking care of the pond is a must. We need to do it.